Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Spear and I'm with Warhammer Electric. Today we're going to be talking about different circuit conditions. So in this little deal, you're going to learn about short circuits, ground faults, and overloads. Um, I will explain what a normal circuit is so you can kind of go from there. But this is intended to kind of talk about the different types of faults shorts things like that so a normal circuit is from line to line clean right so you have a clean live wire from point A to point B with the correct breaker and things like that you know it's just the the flow of current is steady and complete so talking about uh, over here on the top, we'll talk about short circuits. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So, a uh, short circuit is an abnormal connection between two nodes of an electrical circuit intended to be different voltages. I.e., it's going to be the, the hot conductor making contact with a neutral or grounded conductor. So in this particular example, it is making contact with the neutral, therein uh, popping that breaker. Um, a short circuit could also be a hot, which is always going to be your constant, you know, um, problem. So your hot making contact with a grounding conductor. So um, both of those can be op like options for what a s short circuit is. Now, if we s scroll over to a ground fault, in this diagram, the hot wire or live wire is touching the inside of the metal raceway. So that would be considered a ground fault. And a ground fault is defined as an accidental contact between an energized conductor and a ground or equipment frame. It occurs when the hot wire comes into contact with the ground and a grounded portion of the junction box or grounded part of the appliance and or device. Similar to a short circuit, large amounts of current are forced to flow through the fuse or the circuit breaker, causing it to blow or the circuit to trip. So that would be a ground fault, basically making contact with metal parts in a nutshell. So when your live wire hot wire um, makes contact with metal frame of pipe um, MC um, any grounded portion of the thing that is going to be a ground fault now what is an overload as you can see we have this as a 15 amp breaker tied to a 40 amp something um, this means that this live wire is trying this device is trying to pull 40 amps but we're only giving it 15 and um, it will and cause the the sheathing to melt because it is over amping trying to gather as much electricity as possible however it cannot because of the overcurrent protection which is 15 so causing this thing to overload and then in the process more than likely causing a ground fault and uh, short circuit because it's overheating the jacket the intended jacket so you might see it as THHN 
and it only has a certain amount of heat that it can take um, before it starts overheating that um, you know let's just say 12 gauge wire um, so and then 10 overheats melts it and would cause an overload on the breaker causing it to trip and it that's not the case it'll melt and it will cause a ground fall or a short circuit but those are definitely the worst so this is my quick little video on uh, identifying um, issues with um, your circuitry once again my name is John Spear I'm with Warhammer Electric um, you can definitely check us out on Instagram TikTok Facebook and of course YouTube thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a great day be safe and I hope this helped